Hi, this is Tom Lorenz from thewatersnake.com. Uh, I want to show you guys how to do the cycling of a tank. Um, it's often made out to be this really complex thing. The bottom line is you need bacteria that are going to help make really toxic fish waste into waste that's really not that toxic. Uh, a lot of expensive items out there for cycling tanks, uh, chemicals you can buy, uh, and if you have no access to any other fish tanks, or if you don't have several fish tanks uh, like I do or some other crazy fish people do, that's fine. But there's a really easy, cheap, and actually very effective way to take care of this problem. Uh, and the trick is to take the bacteria from a tank that's doing fine and move it to the tank that you're just starting off with. So you can take this tank here. I'm doing a water change on it. I just moved some fish out of it. And you take a filter here. Just a simple sponge filter will do. You can also do this with gravel. You take that sponge filter out. A nice, healthy, wet sponge filter. And what you want to do is you want to make sure while it's wet, you take it and you squeeze the dirty water out of it. Let me set up the camera so you can see this. Got some fresh water. Very clear. Take the dirty sponge filter, just put it in there, squish it around. Get that nice dirty juices out of there. And what I have now, as you see, is what essentially looks like chocolate milk. All right, let's walk over to the new fish tank. Say hello to Mr. Ike. How you doing, Ike? All right. New fish tank here. This was a reef uh, a couple days ago. Now I'm setting it up as an African cichlid tank. Now, of course, some of that rock has bacteria that doesn't work in freshwater. Uh, some of that rock actually was moved from a freshwater tank and probably has a good bacteria with it. Well, here, I'm going to take this chocolate milk. It seems horrible. Oh, you're pouring waste into a fish tank. Well, you're actually pouring healthy bacteria into this fish tank. So this healthy bacteria mixes in here. What you're going to have, if you have this good circulation here, as you can see a couple power heads are helping with circulation, is you're going to have that bacteria spread throughout and attach to things and be exposed to oxygen, which is key because these bacteria that break down the waste in your fish tanks are aerobic and they need oxygen. So what's going to happen here now is all those bacteria they were living, they were eating waste, they are doing fine, you don't have to worry about them either being dead or alive, you know they're alive because they were eating an old fish tank. They're going to do their job. And you're going to see almost no ammonia spike, although it's always safe to not feed your fish for a day or two after you do a transfer like this. Hope this helps, and hope you enjoy our website, thewatersnake.com.